Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to be clearing the 8th plot battle of the Knight of Lost Souls event. This one should definitely be the last battle because there is the avatar frame. Candy prankster avatar frame for clearing this fight. So let's get started. Candy! We've been completely surrounded by zombie kitties! Never mind, we already know the truth about this curse. Just as long as we distribute the candy to everyone... You think it'll be that easy? Aren't you the boy from before? Didn't you return home with your father? What happened? Ah, sis, save me, I feel awful. Calm down already. It's rare I find a mixed blood demon kid like yourself and finally have a way to break Lucius's seal. Extra S there. What's happened? How could this be? That's a really bad translation as well. Grammar! <laughs> Is this guy the leader of the kids? But why is he attacking us? Because if only I can stop you guys from reaching the town before dawn, my curse will be fulfilled. I, Pumpkin Jack, will break free of my shackles and return to life. He just said he's Pumpkin Jack, the legendary sorcery of the Wandering Souls. Using this child as a target and utilizing his demon blood to unleash the power of the ghost. And then the true pumpkin jack appears. Such a demon human mixed blood body is quite rare. Luckily, that double chin guy is nothing but a waste of space. I easily made the space. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is he even talking about? Okay. Now, let this old man, Pumpkin Jack, return to life. Ah, wandering souls of the Night of a Thousand Spirits. Children who suffer for a lack of candy, awaken. Heed the summons of I, Pumpkin Jack. He's trying to make himself sound really cool, but... <laughs> it just sounds like an idiot. Anyways. Kill those pesky adults. They're the ones who won't let us eat snacks and go out and play. Could this be? It's almost done. If we don't get back to town soon, it's all my fault. Cut the nonsense. All we can do now is squash that guy and return the candy to the children as quickly as possible. Hmm, thinking the same thing. Easy to say, but with enemies in all directions, we can't break out. And they're all children from the town. We cannot fight them. Didn't you just beat the crap out of these children earlier? Now you can't fight them? The more you want to fight, the greater my chances of winning. Hey, you there, kid, take this! Oh, this bag is heavy! The candy of all the children in town is in here. You're a kid, so I don't think those delirious kids will attack you. Take it back to the town, quickly. So... The goal is to defeat all enemies, but you can't defeat any child for this fight. Okay, whatever. Don't kill the children while defeating all enemies. That's actually kind of annoying, but... Let's see how it goes, because it seems like every group has one child with them. But surely if I use... Oh, I don't even have the doctor with me! See, this would be much easier if the doctor was around, but we don't have the doctor. So... Nothing makes kids happier than candy? Maybe that stuns the kid? Okay, well, let's see. Let me begin first. Is there a range on this skill? 3 range. Alright. 
Well, let's just move. Wait, I can't even control these two either. What? Oh, the only one I can control is Little Red Hat? Wow, okay. Um... Interesting. And very unexpected. Well, let's see what happens. Let's just end them initially. Oh, the kitty's on move. So let's try using that skill. If I treat the kid... Ah! They disappear. Layla might actually kill that kid then. Oh, fortunately, didn't. Good. So let's treat that one. Next. And then just one more. And after that, wipe out all the enemies, I guess. Okay. Uh, so you're the one who made my son turn crazy tonight. Today I'm going to make you pay the price of breaking up my family. Ah, uh, that guy Jack. He was radically tested in the demon realm. I had no idea he was causing trouble again in a place like this. <laughs> this time I'll make you understand who the real villain is. Alright, Bozo. Well, Miss Stellan... I thought he died. Why is he here? If I can defeat that pumpkin jack in one fell swoop, our family won't need to guard the vampire's castle anymore. For we will become a celebrated heroes. Pumpkin Jack, show yourself! Alright, you grew some wings. So you think you're gonna escape my wrath? Oh, okay. So you get to control everyone now. Making this battle stupidly easy. Huh? Whoa. They do such crap damage. All right. Watashi ni kangai ga aru. Kondo wa atai ni nani saseru n dai? Guess I'll let dance here. And by chivalry up, maybe I'll simply javelin for now. Holy class, but not at full hit points. Should be fine. Let's just place her here. Trade range attacks. Destroy the flame skeleton.
looks good. So why don't I start with Holy Word for my Holy Class character to absolutely crush that demon. And... Let's just wait for them to approach. Okay. Let's do a Reaper's Touch attack on the Gargoyle. And... So I might as well mine for so that I'll die when attacking me. And here, if I just move up one tile and shivel it, should heal up a bunch. I can even place myself in range, but I don't think I will. So maybe right there. We'll wait. Oops. Didn't check the pumpkin jack skills. It has an AoE. Rip. Overall, it's going pretty well. Double Chin Guy takes out the Gargoyle. Bozo will fireball the Skeleton Master. And now, is it here? Let's see. Can always chain hook this guy to me for now, I guess. How? Pumpkin Jack's not that strong either. Hmm. So maybe I'll just start with a holy word attack. Problem here is he is cavalry class, so maybe I'll just wait. And that worked out pretty well. Saltier will be good. Huh? And melee attack from the vampire hunter. And shift forward. And finally, werewolf. Oh my god. Doesn't even do uh, 40 damage. Rip. Uh-oh. Was there anything about- oh, yeah, so only if Little Red Riding Hood dies am I truly in trouble. She's not going to, so it should be okay. Why don't I just rewind here? For mass heal purposes. And, uh, holy word for healing purposes? One thing that these guys is taking longer than I thought. It's not even difficult, it's just time consuming. Alright. 
There we go. Just one lens to the left. And there we are. Down it dies. Enough, pestering fools. Why is it heavy all of a sudden? What the? Hands are emerging from the ground. <laughs> we wandering souls may not have any fighting power, but we can drag this battle on until morning. You guys will be totally done for. Damn it, it's all over. We get caught in that. God, don't come near, you ghosts. Mr. Grey Wolf, which is actually blue. Okay, I'll go back right away. Haha, <laughs> dawn is breaking already. None of you guys will make it back to town in time. What? You two phonies want to stop me? Want to stop me after all my work? You will not succeed. The Knight of a Thousand Spirits is no longer yours. You won't get to steal the children's childhoods anymore. We will stop you. Hurry, miss. Get in this carriage and you'll reach town before dawn. Scatter the contents of this bag over the town. Yeah, wait for me. I must bring back these children. Don't even think of trying to steal these children's happiness. No. Okay. A dramatic cutscene about stealing children's candy. There we are. 30 candy crystals and the candy prankster avatar frame. Nice little image at the end here. Years later, that woman in the red hood will stand before the children who are asking her for candy and will remember that distant dawn when she sat on a sorceress's broomstick. That's a carriage, not a broomstick. And on that night of chaos before the dawn, a loud bang ran out over the town and candy rained in the hands of the laughing children. After that, the man in the cloak decided to settle nearby, dreaming of an Alsalia counterattack. However, his crystal orb is still missing, and he became the object of the children's teasing. Rip Bozel. And the sorceress chose to keep studying magic in the swamp. The story of the sorceress who turns people into frogs still strikes fear into people's hearts. But because most, of, most do not believe it, nobody has dared to give it a try. The vampire hunter gave up their family mission and became a bard, but the blood queen still lies dormant. Whenever the Knight of a Thousand Spirits comes around, she invites human children to her magical palace. And I? I return to my normal life. Back to the Wild Wolf bookstore, dealing with the boss and the familiar customer. Hey, quit daydreaming. Hop over to the bookshelf and grab me another copy of... Okay. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> That's about all I can say about this. Um... Nah, whatever. I mean, I'll just continue to farm this these missions and get the whole thing done. Thanks for watching, everyone. Nitro out.